Today I'm going to show you how to paint the sky for your watercolor landscape. First of all, remember to always get your watercolors ready by dropping just a little bit of water into the colors that you'll be using. I'm going to use the blues and that's what I'm going to stick with for my sky. You don't need to worry about using yellow for a sun because if you remember color theory, if I mix the yellow and the blue together, that will make green and we don't want green in our sky. So I'm just going to have a blue sky. The sun will be in the sky but won't be showing in my drawing. What I'll do first is dip my brush in the water and I'm going to just run it along the top of my skyline or of my horizon line way in the background holding on my brush like a pencil and just gently brushing the water on. I'm going to brush the rest of the paper with water so I can get a nice watercolor wash for my sky. Then I'm going to gently swish the colors for the watercolor and just see what the color looks like either on my messy mat. You can see what it looks like or on the palette itself. I think I like this blue better. Water it down. And I'm going to gently brush the water. And you can see that it spreads really nicely. Depending on how dark you want your sky, you can let the water bleed. And if you did a careful job painting the edge, it should bleed to the skyline and not touch anything else, but just work slowly to get a nice crisp edge. Because the ground is already dry, it won't blend and bleed together, but try to get a nice solid edge there. I'm gonna fill in the rest of my paper. Maybe I want it darker at the top or maybe lighter at the top. If you want to do a sunset, you could add some red to make some violets. If you want the sun to look like it's setting, you could add reds and oranges. But keep in mind too, if you add orange with the blue, it's going to make brown. So if I'm just sticking with reds and purples, I might add a little bit of purple down here and then fade to red. If your sky is during the day, what you can do is create clouds by blotting out some of the paper with some paper towel. And I'm just gonna press where I want my cloud and you can see, I'm gonna crinkle this a little bit more. If you crinkle it, it will look a lot more like a cloud. If you go like that. So if you wanna show clouds in your sky, you can press and blot the paper towel against your artwork. And if it's crumpled, it will look kind of like a sky. So I think I'm going to do a regular sky during the daytime instead of a sunset, just so I can have some neat clouds there. So there we have some subtle clouds in the sky. Once you are done with your sky and your ground, if you need to finish painting the bottom, you can. Once everything is dry in the foreground, middle ground, background, you're ready to start painting some of your detail way in the background. If I look at Henry Rousseau's examples of his artwork, you can see that our, there are some faint trees and plants in the background. And here as well, you can see some trees and plants way in the background there. So we are going to use watercolor to paint plants and trees in the background and the middle ground. The foreground is going to have plants and flowers cut out of paper, but here and here, we can just paint little tiny trees and bushes. So I'm going to look at this for some inspiration of the shapes I can do. And I'm going to take a really small brush and I'm gonna start with green and I will just paint watercolor on top of my dry background. I'm gonna mix my greens together a little bit. So I'm going to start way back here. Things that are up here in the paper, they're really, really far away. So I'm going to make them a lot tinier. I might have no trees that I can see 
way back there because they're so far away. So I'm going to focus on my middle ground. I'm going to draw some stock, stalks just by brushing the watercolor on. And I'm going to add some leaves off of it. I'm just going to draw or paint some of those. If I water down the paint, they look like they're a little bit further away in the background. I'm going to paint a few of those. I'm going to water down my watercolor by adding some water and paint some of those. Maybe some bushes like this. Think about creating plants that have variety. If you do want to add some flowers on top of some of the plants, you can. You can see in this picture there are some yellow and orange flowers. But remember, only paint with watercolor in the middle ground and maybe in the background unless you have mountains, you'll just leave those. And I like when the water color is pretty watered down because it looks like the plants are further away. Don't forget to wipe out the top of your palette when you're done using it. And have fun creating plants for your jungle in the middle ground and background of your painting. Mm -hmm.